Hey guys, so I've just been noticing that Atlas has been knocking over his food bowl and I think he just really needed a toy. He's bored in there, don't want to blame him for that. And I think he really loves it. You can see him pushing him around, grabbing it with his teeth and throwing it around. He's cute. Found some problems. I went this morning. Feed him and there's feet everywhere. I was like, ah, oh, did I spill that? And then I found it. Something got into my feed. It was my fault for leaving it up here. But I got something for that sucker. I'm gonna trap it. This is my house, not theirs. I don't want to pay for them to eat, give them a roof over their head. Uh -uh. It ain't happening. So we're going to trap whatever was eating the food. And I'll put a little bit of this and then cover up the rest of my feed. I guess I was just getting lucky for a while. Well, we'll see. Leave in the comments below what you think ate it. Well, this is looking kind of pale. Wonder why. And these are kind of getting brown at the tips. See if you can see that. Parsley's really going. This needs some water. Looks dry on top actually, but it's pretty moist. Good roots. Mm -hmm. I still think I gotta wait on these peas. And I think this might be kale, because I don't see any broccoli coming up. Because we put so many different seeds in here that look the mm. Zucchini. I just watered it some. No, it's getting that though. A little bit of yellowing. I thought it needed some nitrogen, so I fed it some slow food nitrogen, and then maybe I'll figure something else I could put on it. I'm putting together a mix for a neighbor. Maybe we're gonna start a garden over there, maybe. We'll see if I could convince them. There's squashes. This is summer squash. And then this is butternut squash. Peppers of some sort. I think Santa Fe pepper. What is that? Bug. Oh, watermelons, cucumbers, uh, watermelons and melons, beans. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. There we go. Cherry tomatoes, you look a little curly. Hmm. You look alright right there. These ones are red bell peppers. This is all sort of this is even sesame. And I don't even know how I'm gonna grow that. Um, onions, spinach, Santa Fe peppers, sugar pumpkin, sugar pumpkin. More red bell pepper. We got about mm, one, two, three, four. Four of them, five of them. Some bok choy, I don't know how well that's gonna do because it's starting to get hot. But look at the roots on top of that thing. Here, let me show you. Look at 
the roots on top of that. How did I get there? Interesting. Eggplant. Dino kale. We were excited about that, but that's probably gonna start bolting. So Frank's gotta take that to the other party. Cabbage. Uh, red okra. More Santa Fe peppers. Santa Fe peppers. This has a whole bunch of stuff in there. I don't know why I decided to still do a row of carrots. Cauliflower. Chive, Santa, more Santa Fe peppers, <laughs> pepperoncini, uh, a bush tomato called Glacier, and a black crim tomato. And we have lots of corn. And then these three right here that haven't popped yet is my state winning, state fair winning pumpkins that I'm really excited about. And here's Big Max pumpkin, which is I don't know if you can see that. It's barely coming up. Right there. So the other one should come up soon. There wouldn't be a reason why they're in perfect temp right now. Big red bell peppers. A zuki bean. Black crim tomato. And more summer squash. More summer squash. And then over here. Cayenne peppers. More Santa Fe pepper. Why did we do so many Santa Fe pepper? We're gonna have to give those away. Indian corn. I'm excited to just see how pretty that is. And it says you can use them as live, livestock feed. But uh, I'm gonna try to make something out of it and see what it tastes like. I don't know why they say that. Only for livestock feed. So more red okra. Clemson spineless okra. Yeah, can you tell we have really fancy name tags? Black beauty eggplant. More bush tomato glacier. Forget me not that didn't come up in this. I'm always surprised. Sometimes you'll have a whole row of just nothing. Then the next, very next time you do it, it all sprouts. It just, you know, timing. And that's why we do succession of all these different kinds because we haven't even grown in this climate before. So we don't know what to expect. Some kale. We also know that the spring here is too short for cold hardy stuff. I figured that out the hard way. And arugula. So I'm gonna send away the kale and arugula to a place that has a longer spring and hopefully we'll get, they won't bolt right away. Let's go over here. So over here we have sage, dill, oh wait no, dill, chamomile, okra, swiss chard, some type of pepper, some type of pepper. We're gonna have so many peppers that we don't know about, but let me guess. They're Santa Fe peppers. All of them. These have chives and parsley growing in them. Some random cucumbers. These ones, these strawberries. Look how much bigger that one did because we transplanted it right away into a bigger pot. And I actually transplanted these from their cells and they're actually a lot bigger than what they were, but look at the difference, you know? These ones are, I'm not gonna try to say that. These are nasturtium, some kind of pepper, Santa Fe pepper. Tons of cucumbers. We're gonna have tons of cucumbers. Oh, and a uh, Jardale pumpkin. Jardale pumpkin. It's actually a blue pumpkin that's even better to bake with than the sugar pumpkins. So I'm excited about this because I loved uh, baking with those sugar pumpkins and then there's still tons of things sprouting and then we got cayenne peppers 
um, more watermelon, melon. Uh, these are all beef steak tomatoes. This is cauliflower, spinach, a random onion, more spinach, and two pars or parsnips. Two parsnips. Red okra, spineless okra, some kale, onion. Uh, I think that's more of spinach or Swiss chard. Tomatoes, some pepper. And then these, ow. These strawberries are called sequoia, something I could say. Gradually getting things in the ground, but all the stuff that's acclimated is starting to do really good. These are all yellowing and real small, and I just kept feeding them and feeding them, babying them, and now they're taking off. And we got the whole row down there, and the cones around there, there's some down there. And then these ones are newly transplanted. See the difference? They don't like when they're first transplanted, especially when they were previously root bound. And then these, we're gonna have to give away butternut squash plants. Because that's just too many. But hey, it's food right now. Can't complain about that. And then Frank made this beautiful row and he put some of the big squashes and I think these are okra he kind of just didn't know which what would want to be in the ground and what wouldn't and apparently peppers did not want to be in the ground that's the only thing that didn't agree with this spot for some reason you can just look at it. Close. Yep. it's all burnt up I mean, that looks good. Really lime yellow there and then burnt. So I don't know if maybe this had too much nitrogen in it or if they got a little bit of a frost and peppers really hate frost. But everything else, I mean, this leaf is getting pretty big compared to what it was. And then there's tomatoes. Tomatoes are jamming. Tomatoes are jamming. Check those out. Yeah, and so they really love it right here. Not the peppers, but now we know with just one plant loss. That's why we've been doing a variety. You know, we're new at this house. This garden hasn't even been really worked in forever. So, and then look at that. Look how much more space we got to go. We're just chipping away row by row for now. These are red potatoes. Those are russet potatoes. And then here's the garlic. It's barely turning yellow at the end. It's about to be ready to harvest soon. And then one random onion that came from an onion that we ate. And on the left side, on the left side, cucumbers and then I want to do either a trellis up or a roots and refuge cattle panel trellis right here and I think that'd be so cute I love those I'm gonna bolt anyways I think this is a and I think it's gonna be great look how good that kale looks kale in there looks great it's a lot to harvest some kind of lettuce. I think it's either Paris Island. I don't know what kind. I just put some random um, 